to a brand new episode here on Britain's Farm. So we're sugar beating. Yeah, we're up in uh, Richard's uh, third field. And we're lifting his sugar beet now. I know this is Britain series. And I know that uh, we're sort of replicating the machines that we had, or I had when I was younger. I definitely didn't have this machine. This machine wasn't available. But two reasons for me using it. One is is that Britons didn't do any sugar beet equipment and obviously the game offers sugar beet. Um, two, I somehow feel that this is in keeping with the series in the fact that it is sort of older and it's kind of something that if you'd have made it yourself it may have looked like. Um, and also as well I wanted to just do a little bit of a mod review uh, on this because uh, as, as I noticed this mod uh, the other week when a couple of weeks ago I was looking for um, a sugar beet lifting mod like this uh, for another reason but um, that will become obvious in the next few weeks while I was looking for something and um, I saw this and this mod is not sort of it was posted on a sort of kind of or the only place I found it is on an obscure uh, FS22 uh, mod site and not really seen it used much on uh, YouTube and uh, I just thought I would use it and showcase it because it is actually a really good mod uh, there is one slight downside to it that I can tell um, and that is that I just stop for a second because I need to try and keep it straight but the cutter on the front there when I get to the end of the sugar beet I'll show you what I mean but you drop it down with you know the way that you lower implements and what tends to happen is is that it's sort of realistic in a way but also really incredibly annoying um and this is why, you know, I often say that giants, you know, yes, they need to build a sort of realistic game, but you have to bear in mind that there is an important word in there, and it's game. Uh, and and so therefore, playability and gameability versus real life. Sometimes real life has to give, and this is a mod where real where real life had to give and it needed to be made sort of just bog standard and, and as I say I'll show you in more depth what I mean when we get to the other side but I'm sort of trying to do a neat good job here um, so basically what happens is when you put it down it lowers it down but it tilts it back and then you press your J and your N keys to try and level it off and raise it and tilt it until you get it to where it is now that's sort of relatively realistic because on the real thing you know you would alter the top link to uh, change its pitch whether it be forward backwards obviously you're looking for it ideally sort of bang in the middle um you know so that it's cutting even uh and and so that it's you know not either cutting too deep or cutting too shallow but on a computer game where there's too many other variables you know the 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 terrain of this map is not the best uh, it's a bit lumpy um, that's like the sort of you know the easiest way I can just sort of describe it and the kindest way I can describe it it's a bit lumpy um, and so you end up missing huge chunks of uh, sugar beet um, honestly I, I kind of was gonna originally do a full field I thought what I'll do is I'll knock the headlands off because it gets a bit dull me just going round and round and round the field so I'll knock the headlands off and then you know I'll sort of switch the cat and well it just became uh, it would have become a video because I did start recording it and it would have just literally been a video of me going backwards and forwards and over it and I thought no I'm not you know like it's, it's not um it's not professional enough for me you know um so having toyed with it for a very long time and got myself out of the habit of lifting the bloody thing up each end. <laughs> I literally had to put elastic band on my wrist and every time I touched the uh, implement raise and lower button 
on my uh, Cytec uh, control panel. <laughs> I had to ping the elastic band really hard, and now I don't go anywhere near it. Um, because once you lift it, it resets it to its... You know, it's not like it keeps its level and tilt that you add it at. It resets it to how it was in the beginning. So, excuse my chair for creaking. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's um, it got very annoying, very frustrated, and and uh, there was one or two uh, little swear words that uh, kept creeping in. So I thought, mm, oh, I better not put that out. <laughs> better get start again when I'm a bit near the end. But it's taken sort of like you know that's the size of the field, as you can see, and it's taken to here, where I've finally managed to get it set perfectly. Um, where it doesn't appear to be missing any and it is doing a very good job now but it's a good mod i like the mod i tell you what i would do with it if 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 it was me i would switch it over to onions so i would have it top and lift and row onions because <clears throat> you know you don't harvest onions with them in the ground uh Spring onions maybe, but um, but uh, sort of uh, um, you know the the normal onions as I call them. I can't think what the bloody name is. Um, you know, you lift them and row them and leave them on the top. Let the sun dry them out and then you harvest them. You know, and uh, and so I would use it for that uh, for rowing onions and then have a picker behind that is capable of lifting up uh, like uh, rows of um, crop and then uh, and do it that way that 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 that's what i would use this for um i think that would be very interesting but um yeah so it's a good mod it, you know compared to uh, mr silly p it's not a great mod review but <laughs> that's just my opinion that it's a great mod but where it falls down is the fact that you need to fiddle around with it for you know like getting on for well over an hour and a half now um to get it so that it actually cuts where you're not having to keep going backwards and forwards over the field to try and get the bits that you've missed there are still lots of bits in this field that i've missed and and in the end i just i got to the point where it was i was sort of like thinking why the hell did i bother with this you know do you know what i mean i should have tested this out you know not five minutes before i'm sort of due to record i should have tested this out before it even got to the game but it's a good mod to be fair once you get it set it's a it's a nice enjoyable mod and it's a bit different and and uh you know it's sort of basic functions apart from the fact that you can sort of tilt and untilt the um the front there so yeah so as you can probably tell today is going to be a sugar beet uh, episode um we'll use a trailed sugar beet har uh, harvester even sorry uh, that's capable of picking up crop off the floor um there is one so all of what you can see there comes in uh the same pack so in the same mod and you also get a beat lifter uh, with it as well um, I've hired all of this just because as I say it isn't what I would have had when I was um, younger so therefore I'm not keeping it but I'm only doing sugar beet probably this year uh, on the game um, basically what a field of sugar beet so we're gonna literally tip it uh, you know just sort of on the ground and we're going to leave it until we get pigs and it's literally going to be used to feed the pigs um, so I, ju I just want it you know and I just thought well you know as we're only going to be doing it when you know, I'll use something a bit different rather than using say like a grimmy or something like that um, so I just thought I'd go with it uh, but it's it's not staying because as I say I didn't have it when I was younger um, and you know for me it is important that we do keep things you know uh in keeping with the save and in keeping with uh the whole sort of premise and idea of this save so yeah but anyway it's not going too badly and um as i say we're gonna get the uh, uh tractor and trailer uh the other thing as well is is i am gonna buy a new trailer 
Um, because the trailer that we've got, it does have... A f They're not sort of errors in it that are damaging the game in any way because we've, you know, we've been using it since we started. But So it shows full, even though it's virtually empty. Um, but the 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 um, the texture in the trailer shows that the trailer is actually full. But when you get onto the tractor, there'll perhaps only be like twenty percent in the trailer. Um, so that's the first thing. So it makes it hard for me to judge when I need to go and empty it. Um, and also as well, <clears throat> in terms of Britain's mods and toys and things, uh, well, not mods, but in terms of toys. We are now starting to get late 80s into the 90s, and this trailer was available in the early 90s. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, that came from nowhere. Um, yeah, th this trailer was available in the 90s, so I am going to switch over to it just because, as I say, that other trailer, it's a bit, <coughs> excuse me, it's a bit uh, deceiving and a bit awkward in a way to use because I don't know when it's full and when it isn't. Uh, just because the the um, the texture shows that it's full after the first unload, so I know I can get a couple of unloads in there, but after sort of two, maybe three, oh, you know what? I've just undone you. I've just lifted it up. Ouch! <laughs> That's <laughs> the elastic band again. Oh, I'm gonna have to mind you. It doesn't matter, I suppose, in a way, because I was gonna show you anyway. So you watch it all work perfectly now. <laughs> It will, it will work perfectly now. I think I have got some left. I'm pretty sure it didn't take all of that breed. Um, but uh, hang on, we'll just turn it off and motor our way over. So yeah, we've got to go to the store, so we'll take um, two tractors over to the store. We need to pick up the sugar beet, the sugar beet harvester that we're going to hire. And we also need to pick up um, the new trailer as well. We'll take the other trailer. I might keep the other trailer actually, uh, just around the farm, just because um, it is. You know, this is going to work absolutely fine, and I'm going to look like such a wally. Um, yeah, it is like it's fucking fine. <laughs> so I couldn't. But when I get to the end, I'll show you the tilt in action. We'll get rid of this uh, when we get to the end. We don't need it anymore. Like, why is that not lifting and rowing B? So it's left a bit there. Left a bit there. So then what you have to do is is you have to then sort of fiddle around with J and N and in the vain hope that you get the right angle. So we'll try again. Uh, that you get the right angle then on the um, cutter so that it chops the beat or chops the tops because um, you don't want to chop the beat. Um, so let's just try that. So this is kind of what I was doing, sort of, like for the last hour and a half, nearly two hours, is um, you know constantly going backwards and forwards and sort of you know trying to get bits that I've missed. So and if you get it too low, what happens is then it, it digs into the ground and then starts spinning this machine around in circles. I mean it's quite funny to see, but it's um, really frustrating when you're trying to, as I say, do a good job, which I always do try and do a good job. But yeah, so I'll show you properly now. So J and N will lift it up as well. But then it's kind of like, it's finding the, um, the uh, you know, where you want it sort of thing. Because if you lift it just up and down on uh, V, that's it lifted up on V. And that's it lowered on V. So it literally just lifts the front wheels, but the second that you get that set where you want it, so about there probably, um, then it starts messing about. Anyway, it's done now. But as I say, it's a nice mod. Check it out. Go download it and uh, check it out. It's on fs22.com, uh, which to be fair is where I get most of my mods from. Um, either that, It's either that site or ModHub. Um, I don't really know of any other good um, mod sites uh, where there's no sort of dodgy 
uh, some mod sites you go to download and then it flips you over to like uh, dodgy sort of adverts and and uh, you know different things and file shares and stuff like that and I'm not really keen on that um, but fs22.com uh, you literally get like a, a picture advert come up so you just press the cross and then it just downloads um, you know normal speeds it's a good website to be fair would recommend it and as I say the other website that I go to is ModHub but yeah anyway we'll get rid of this I'll shut up and we'll um, we'll get into some time lapse and uh, we will um, we will um, Get the beat lifted. Oh, I've just bloody got rid of the harvester. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, let's uh, get the harvester again. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Alright, it's uh, that one. That we want. Yeah, that'll do. So we'll hire that. And then we want to, oh, want to buy a trailer. And I'll show you, this. Well, there you go, the correct trailer. That was the trailer that I wanted, so. I had that, that was from Siku, that was, uh, that trailer. Um, we'll have the, yeah, we'll have the um, extensions on. I think the sugar beet arm should reach over the top of it. If not, we'll have to take it back to the workshop and get it, um, and get it uh, uh, sorted. Anyway. I'm going to go off and leave you with some music. When you cut back, when I cut back, when you come back, so the next thing you see, I will be harvesting. I won't show you all the travelling and, and the fiddling and about bits. We will be harvesting when you get back. But uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye for now.
what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Is this really happening? I can't be too sure. But one day I'll be yours again. Something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed yeah. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Sugar beet harvest is going reasonably well, if but taking a long time. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, go it's going okay. Uh, and uh, only when I went to, because uh, I was told to tip the uh, sugar beet obviously at the yard, and then I realised what he'd done with our bales. So it's a pretty good idea, to be fair. Um, so yeah, that's where we're tipping the beet, and uh, that's where they're going to. Uh, obviously uh, stay until we need them for the pigs when we eventually get the pigs which you know hopefully won't be too long um, we got a farm build to do but uh, if I've got any money left over obviously Richard's quite clean quite keen to um, to get the pigs ASAP so uh, you know hopefully we'll be able to um, to do that quite quickly but uh, I had the uh, you, so you was meant, <laughs> as always, to see the whole of this harvest. But alas, I have had the out of memory uh, message. Um, why are you stuck behind me? There you go. Can you get through now? Yep. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, I've had to sort of kind of cut this a bit short but to be fair it is a sort of it. I kind of in the end sort of kind of conceded to myself that well actually do you really want to see me every other breed just driving back to the farm and tipping um, but uh, it's it's nice to do an episode like this I enjoy uh, recording these types of episodes because um, you know it's something a bit different um, you know and, and it just sort of breaks up uh, the other jobs on the farm so yeah it's quite it's quite a nice uh, 
quite a nice uh, job um, to do, uh, and I enjoy harvesting this way. Uh, I must admit, I have the uh, Grimmy GT170, um, and very often in the evenings I'll literally just pick a big field of potatoes on a map that I'm playing and and use that and harvest potatoes, and I, I, re I really enjoy it, but I, I do appreciate that it's probably not that fun to watch someone who plays, you know, sort of single, now multiplayer, it probably would be a huge different story, it would probably be very interesting, especially if two or three of you on the multiplayer who are doing different jobs record it from your perspective, um, you know, I guess then it's probably a, a whole new ball game, but I've never played multiplayer, uh, you know, gotta confess, a little bit of a loner. <laughs> <laughs> find it very hard to mix and very hard to make um, to make uh, new friends and and uh, stuff like that so that, that's kind of really the only reason why I've never done it um, I'm always sort of you know a little bit worried about doing things wrong or you know even though you know farming's in my blood really and I know exactly what I'm doing uh, but I, I don't know it just the thought of uh, you know of doing something and you know sort of spoiling someone else's experience if you like it I, you know for me it's just sort of best to kind of avoid <laughs> but um yeah I, I would imagine this sort of thing uh, with multiplayer with multiple tractors and trailers and probably even multiple harvesters uh, working in the field then um i bet a it's very uh very uh, very much fun to take part of uh, or part in but uh, it's also um, you know sort of good to see sort of thing so but yeah so I'm uh, I'm gonna leave the episode here <clears throat> a massive thank you to everyone who has uh, liked and subscribed over the last few days um, really really do appreciate it Still, nearly all of my viewers haven't subscribed, so if, if you could just hit that button, it would help me so, so much. Um, you'll also get notified every time I drop a video, every time I drop a short, which I haven't dropped one for uh, one or two weeks now, uh, mainly because uh, the uh, the map that I'm testing for the new series, is, I've discovered a problem, but it's a problem that I think I can f fix myself, so... I'm sort of in between recording and doing other things. I'm sort of trying to fix that as well. But uh, yeah, but it is a massive help. And um, I really do thank uh, every one of you that has done it already. And for those of you that haven't, go on, just drop a subscribe. Help us get to 375 now before um, June the 1st. I'm sure we can, I know we can do it. Um, you guys have helped me smash my targets every month, so, you know, one more, and then we'll be on to July, uh, to June, sorry, and then we'll be on to new targets, and who knows, by the end of July, maybe, maybe we could hit 500, that would be absolutely magic, but thanks ever so much for joining me on this episode, I've really enjoyed having your company, and I really hope that you join me again for the next episode, thanks very much, bye for now.